Hello, I am Guy Swanson, the President and COO at Unity World Headquarters, and I am grateful for the opportunity to tell you about Unity. We are a global spiritual community. Our mission is to provide practical tools and resources that will help people of all faiths apply positive spiritual principles in their daily lives. We also have a global prayer ministry that reaches people all over the world, and I'll be telling you more about that as well. Unity is part of the New Thought Movement that began in the United States in the 1800s. Our headquarters are located just outside of Kansas City, Missouri, on a beautiful campus that has been growing for 100 years. We host events and retreats. You'll be hearing more about that later because we'd love for you to visit. I'd like to start by sharing a bit of our history. Unity began in 1889 founded by a couple named Charles and Myrtle Fillmore. They were both able to heal themselves of lifelong physical conditions using the power of their minds. So they began to explore prayer and meditation and the creative power of thought. To share what they were learning, they didn't start a church, although Unity now has about 500 churches around the world. They started a magazine. Today, we continue to publish Unity Magazine and Daily Word, which is a well-known booklet of daily messages that circulates in 125 countries and five languages. We also create books and booklets, and of course we have websites and a social media presence that touches hundreds of thousands of people. The Fillmore's taught from a foundation of Christianity because in their day, America was largely Christian and the Bible offered a common language but they read widely, and you can find a strong influence in unity from Hinduism and other major religions. Charles Fillmore was especially inspired when he and Myrtle attended the first ever Parliament of the World's Religions in 1893 in Chicago. He noticed that similar teachings appear in all major religions, and he incorporated elements of them into unity. So our teachings may sound familiar to you. They are ancient spiritual principles that have been called the golden thread or the perennial philosophy. The first is that God is all there is. Everything on earth, everything around us is an expression of the divine. That means human beings are divine at our core. We are expressions of God and we are inherently good. Third, our thoughts have creative power. The Fillmore's called it the law of mind action. Prayer and meditation are the ways that we align ourselves with spirit or the presence that human beings have always felt is with them. And finally, it is not enough to know these principles. We must live the truth. We must take action based on our understanding of the divine in all things. For the rest of this session, we would like to focus on that fourth principle the power of prayer. Since the beginning, Unity has been praying. The Fillmore's brought prayer groups into their living room, and through their magazine, they encourage people across the United States to pray at a certain time every evening. This has grown into the Unity Prayer Ministry that serves well over one million people each year, praying with them every day of the year, wherever they are in the world. You'll be hearing many prayers in many languages, but first I'd like to introduce you to the Unity Minister who heads our prayer ministry, Reverend Linda Martella Witsit. Hi, I'm thankful for a chance to tell you more about Unity's global prayer ministry and how it grew from those early days. From its inception, the Unity Prayer Ministry aimed to comfort, reassure, and empower people to lean into their inner wisdom Letters sent to Unity requesting prayer were personally answered, including affirmations and recommended prayer practices. In the year 1907, a single telephone was placed in service for prayer callers. Rapid growth followed. Two decades later, the number of calls had reached 100,000, and in 1994, the annual calls reached 1 million for the first time requiring a team of 100 prayer associates to answer them all. 
From the beginning, the names of everyone requesting prayer, whether by mail or by phone, were held in continuous prayer, in silence in a prayer vigil for 30 days. Prayer associates took turns sitting in a dedicated prayer vigil chapel hour after hour so that someone was always in prayer round the clock. Well, the 24-7 practices of the Unity Prayer Ministry continue to this day, not only through phones and letters, but people can send prayer requests by email now or even posting on Facebook. In addition, the YouPray app lets people anywhere text a prayer request, listen to a guided meditation, and find an inspiring affirmation. Unity co-founders envisioned and worked toward global prayer consciousness, which continues to inspire us as we increase our reach. To that end, two years ago, we launched unityprayervigil.org you can log on anytime and you'll be united with others around the globe as part of our continuous prayer vigil. You'll support thousands of people who've requested prayer from Silent Unity within the prior 30 days. In addition to the United States, Unity Prayer Ministry affiliates are located in several countries, customizing the prayer experience for their language and their culture. Please join now in prayer with some of our international leaders. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou kata. A warm Māori greeting to you all from New Zealand. And in Māori, we call extended family Papa, And we call Mother Earth Papa Tuanuku. And we say she is breathing. And we call love aroha. And with this prayer today, I affirm with full conviction, may there be peace, may there be inclusion, may there be compassion for all Saka Papa, and may we respect Papa Tuanuku, and we bless this planet with Aroha. It is done. It is so. Thank you, God. Amen. Magandang bati sa inyong lahat. A joyous greeting to everyone. My name is Florence Rivera Monzon, founding spiritual leader of Unity Philippines Spiritual Center, the only unity in the Philippines. I will pray the unity prayer of protection in the Filipino language, Tagalog. Ang panalangin kaligtasan. Ang liwanag ng Diyos ay nakapalibot sa atin. Ang pag-ibig ng Diyos ay nakayapos sa atin. Ang kapangyarihan ng Diyos ay nagliligtas sa atin. Ang presensya ng Diyos ay nagmamatyag sa atin. Nasaan man tayo, naroon ang Diyos. At ang lahat ay mabuti. Salamat o Diyos. Thank you, thank you, thank you, God. And so we now take the time to shut out any distractions by closing our, our eyes and lowering our heads. Let us pray. With each beat of our hearts, we will lapse into peace. The spirit of peace radiates from within our very being. As we turn within, we are centered in the peace. The peace that covers every circumstance, every concern, every heartbeat, sends a signal throughout our bodies and into our minds. And we feel this peace, this peace, this peace. We move into a quiet, sacred time of prayer. 
connecting heart and mind, body and soul with all of life everywhere. We pray, affirming that that deep abiding peace of God fills us and expresses through us so that as we share our peace with the world, our world is blessed and we witness a deeper harmony and understanding, a deeper experience of shared compassion that honours all life, all form, all experiences. We hold the deep abiding peace of God in our hearts. We bless our world as we pray together. And so it is. Amen. Let there be peace in my mind. Let there be peace in all the world. Let there be peace in my house. Jehovah Shalom is here. He came on ke udonachi ebenile noa. Ne wukwa si udona ediji ni mempuru obini le madon. Nke ekereke. Ne wukwa si kwa obi ebere. Na ehona nya. Na nche kota. Nke yeni le dendo ekereke. Udon. Udon. Udon na achi achi ubwa. Ni mem. Manimo wanile. Otitodiri chineke. Ni na site na chineke. Emezu woya. Let there be peace on earth and let it begin with peace in my heart. The spiritual energy of peace reigns supreme in the world, establishing peace and harmony in all human hearts, compassion, love, and the mutual security of all living things. Peace, peace, peace now reigns. Thank you, God, for by God it is done. Amen. And so with that, I invite you to just take a deep, refreshing breath. And to truly allow this pause to take place here in this moment. A pause where we release and let go of the busyness of the day. A pause in which we release and let go of any doubt or fear or concern that we may have. For we release it and we surrender it to the power of this moment, this moment in which we call forth the very activity of God as us to shine brightly, to bring us to a place of calm and peace. And so we call forth this living expression of good that is as us that expresses and becomes manifested through us to bring us a deep sense of well-being. Der Friede unseres Herzens segnet alle Menschen, alle Wesen und alle Völker dieser Erde. Die Liebe unseres Herzens ist ein kosmisches Band, das uns alle harmonisch eint. Unser Mitempfinden gehört all jenen, die großen Herausforderungen ausgesetzt sind und wir segnen sie. Wir haben tiefen Respekt vor allen, deren Meinungen und Sichtweisen anders sind als unsere eigenen. Und in unserem Umfeld sorgen wir dafür, dass sich die Erde naturgemäß zum Ausdruck bringen kann und zentriert im reinen Sein segnen wir den Planeten Erde und den ganzen Kosmos. Und so ist es. Amen. And so now I would like to take this time to just center ourselves 
and breathe in, breathe in, and then just release. Release anything that doesn't serve you. Just shake it out, shake it out. Let's do that again. Just breathe in the breath of spirit and let go. Let go of any anxiousness. Let go of anything that just doesn't feel good. Pretend you're a little slinky and letting releasing and popping and going. And now we take this time to really really far find our heart find our heart sense breathe that in breathe that in knowing that is the spirit the spirit of an ever-present universal God that is beyond powerful beyond knowing beyond good our words cannot even describe this yet we can feel it we can feel the goodness in our bodies we can feel the power we can feel the presence of one spirit and we know that spirit lives and breathes is us is around us and we live and breathe in the oneness of the spirit and wherever divine mind works my mind works bendición para la tierra mi corazón se llena hoy de gratitud por este maravilloso y generoso planeta que nos alberga y cobija que nos nutre y sostiene Bendigo nuestro planeta Tierra y los abundantes y valiosos recursos que nos brinda. Todo en ella es un perfecto reflejo del amor y bondad de nuestro Creador. Bendecida eres, querida Madre Tierra, por el abnegado, incondicional y constante servicio que brindas a quienes hemos hecho de ti nuestro hogar. Amén. Greetings. I am Reverend Tandine Itlengetwa from Johannesburg, South Africa, and I will pray in my native language with his which is Isizumi. Sizo pagamisela amesuetu ezintabeni la guvela kona usizo luetu usizo luetu luvela guwenko usis magato inuele wena o watala izulu no mstaba walisima misa pezi wezi wani siti sitangene mko sinkulunkulu simagate si intanga ngezi intanga Baba Butela para tu way to Tando Lacolu in Wele. Masi me. See me, no basi was away now. You see this on Wele. Sigas away now, oh, would you la? Parati is in his way too. Sigas away now, oh, in Azimulo yet too. Sikulega Eka Benilo Cresto or Pilayo is in his way. Amen. So now let us pray. We join together in prayer and we pause, allow our bodies and minds to relax, and we open to the power 
of God, the presence of God, the love and light of God that exists within us and around us, that expresses as us the divine powers that are our true nature. We open to the unlimited potential for each of us, for our lives, for our loved ones, and for all that we hold in prayer. We release any worries or cares or concerns, any thoughts that would limit us in any way, for we know that all things are possible. We know and affirm that we are powerful to do all things. I'm Reverend Mark Fuss, and I work at Unity World Headquarters, called Unity Village, as Vice President of Outreach and Engagement. Now that you've heard a bit about unity and our global prayer ministry, I'd love to invite you to see it all in person. People from all over the world come to Unity Village for retreats and sabbaticals, for events, even for weddings. If you're interested in learning more about unity, come check out the twice yearly Come Home to Unity Retreat, where you can hear about our founders and history, be immersed in affirmative prayer, and spend time outdoors on the nature trails or the golf course. We also have a summer celebration of our founders called the Fillmore Festival, named for Charles and Myrtle Fillmore, the couple who started Unity in the late 1800s. There we dive into their teachings and talk about how to apply spiritual principles in our daily lives. Or consider the other retreats and events that go on year round. You can come for any reason, any time. Book your family into one of the idyllic Airbnbs to relax, or come stay at the hotel, have coffee in the bookstore, and spend all the time you want in this peaceful atmosphere. You can find details at unityvillage.org. Thank you for joining us today. We hope these prayers have inspired you and you feel nourished and at peace. Many blessings from Unity.